the allegations against the Britain, who as GSK's China head was the firm's legal representative in the country, are the most serious charges ever laid against a foreign national for corporate corruption in China, lawyers said. And police said they had charged Miley and two Chinese colleagues with multiple offenses on Wednesday, after a 10-month probe found the firm made billions of yuan from schemes to bribe doctors and hospitals. And, the fact that Mark's name was on the list of people charged was definitely a surprise, said a source with direct knowledge of the investigation. The source declined to be named because of the sensitivity of the case. And police findings are usually upheld in Chinese courts, meaning Riley and the other executives could face decades in jail. NGSK did not respond to requests for comment on Thursday. And Britain's biggest drug maker said in a statement on Wednesday that the allegations were deeply concerning, and it hoped to reach a resolution that would enable it to continue to operate in China, a key growth market for Western pharmaceutical giants. And Riley, a scientist and accountant who has been with GSK for over two decades, briefly left China after the scandal broke in July last year. He voluntarily returned to assist authorities with the probe, with insiders saying the understanding was this would shield him from charges. And, I've had regular contact with Mark over the past few months. I would think that this state of affairs is a surprise to him. I don't think he is prepared or thought that he could be culpable, an industry executive in China who has personal ties to Riley said. And attempts to reach Riley were unsuccessful. And next steps and the last major corruption scandal to hit a foreign company in China involved minor Rio Tinto or Rio.L, or Rio.AX in 2009, which resulted in four executives including a Chinese-born Australian being jailed for between 7 and 14 years. And Riley and two Chinese executives, Zhang Gowei and Zhao Hongjian, are charged with corporate bribery, bribing non-government officials and bribing business units. And officials gave no specific details on the amount of bribes paid or how much the company had illegally earned, although previously they accused the firm of funneling up to 3 billion yuan $482 million, to travel agencies to facilitate bribes to doctors and officials. And according to normal process, Riley should have been detained as soon as authorities laid charges against him. And police could not be reached for comment and the British consulate declined to comment on Riley's whereabouts. The industry executive said he believed the Briton was still in Shanghai. And Riley had likely been barred from leaving China after his return to help with the investigation, lawyers said. And wake up call and the prosecution will now examine the case before passing it to the courts, which could take as little as a month or much longer if further investigation is required, lawyers said. NGSK is the most prominent of a number of craft probes that have been launched against global drug firms since last year, and authorities are unlikely to risk the investigation being overturned in the courts. And, for a sensitive and closely followed case like this, the police and prosecutors will have consulted with each other already, said Lian Liu, a Shanghai-based partner at law firm MWE China. And Chinese officials visited other international drug makers including Novartis AG, Niven.VX, VX, AstraZeneca PLC, AZN.L, Sanofi SA, Sassy.PA, Eli Lilly and CO, LLY.N and Bayer AG, Bain.DE, last year as part of a broad investigation into the sector, which is rife with bribery between sales staff and doctors. And legal experts said the GSK case was a wake-up call to foreign companies that thought their top expatriate executives were immune from criminal charges as authorities step up a crackdown on corruption ordered by President 11 Jinping. And there is a notion that only people of Chinese nationality are going to go to jail here, said Stephen Dickinson, Gandao-based partner with law firm Harris Moore. And people always say they'll never put a Briton or an American in jail. But they will, and this is just that example. And, additional reporting by John Ruich in Shanghai, editing by Stephen Coe.